Hey, I'm Vanessa, the girl on the bike, and today I am really excited. I'm at the Honda Off-Road Experience Centre with David Thorpe. Check out all of the bikes behind me. This is a place that's absolutely ideal for having a go at off-roading, maybe doing some off-roading again for the first time in a while, or coming for some tuition to get a little bit better at your off-road riding skills. I'm going to be riding the Honda CRF 250 RX for the first time. Time to get changed. Okay, it is my first time on a Honda CRF. 250 RX. Let's see how this thing feels. in the playground that Honda have. Basically, they've got access to a huge load of forestry area. Uh, I've got a good view from the viewtop at the moment. It's super muddy and slippery today. our first little morning session we stopped for a coffee break so that's one thing to note is these guys understand that a quite a nice coffee is well welcome on a wet winter's day the uh wow the honda i am impressed quite how sort of aggressive and excitable it is it's definitely taking some getting used to but it feels it feels lovely it's very very muddy out there so you can see right here all of this um, apparently it's a very different kind of riding experience in the summer uh, but I have to say I really enjoy winter riding because the the thrill you get with your back end sliding all over the place and shifting weight around is really good skills training uh, so over here we've got a little setup they've got a generator going coffee refreshments one of the groups that are here for a Christmas party very cool company are having coffees at the moment and um, we're going to get back out riding again. we try and do a loop and then they understand it and then they ride the loop themselves so that they get more and more bike time because it's not training school like an enduro training school that we offer here it's an experience okay. and we hope that when they go away they think do you know what i love that i want to have to come again and then and then they might come to us they might go to someone else but they start to evolve in the off-road industry mm. that's our process get of the plug. yeah Rocky Monster is getting a little bit of tweaking on his on his bikes uh, because you know all the bikes set up, but guys here are really good at making sure that you're comfortable on the bike. Oh, I had one off this morning. That was fun. You probably just saw the video. As soon as the camera comes out, that falls off. Quick one on the bikes. Obviously, it is a Honda Experience Center with Dave Thorpe. So we are on the Honda. This is a CRF 250 RX. 
and they have a couple of different options as far as sizes they have a 125 as well so if you are really new to riding or a brand new rider and they also have some lowered bike options they have a setup with bridgestone tires and it's a very comfortable bike to ride. Now I'd say that the mission statement of the experience here is to try and get people wanting to enjoy and do off-roading, whether that be trying off-roading for the very first time, having a dabble in off-roading, or reigniting the youthful love of having been on a dirt bike earlier on in the years. And with seven different locations, it's a pretty top-notch place to come and play. So recommendations on if you're thinking about coming and having a play would be giving them a call and let them know about what your riding experience, if you have riding experience, because you can actually come here as long as you're over the age of 16 and ride a bike for the very first time and they will teach you all about the clutch control, everything like that in a very controlled and safe environment, which means you can go home being able to say you've ridden a bike and can ride a bike, which is, I think, a really cool thing. And to be able to come down here and experience something that is trying to just get people to enjoy off-road, it's a massive win for me, and I'm having an absolute blast. sliding around in the mud. Um, up behind me, you can see somewhere up there is Dave. Uh, I'm really hoping this was filming, but I basically just rolled around in the mud. Woo! Full day riding with David Thorpe. I cannot believe I have been riding with Dave today. Absolute legend. I think it's what, three times world champion and then the list of world records that he's got absolutely incredible. What to expect when you come to the day for Honda off-road experience. So you're gonna rock up and they have a cool little setup with a pop-up tent, teas, coffees, refreshments, and you are gonna do a little bit of paperwork, signing away your life, the usual, because of the risks of off-road. You're then gonna get a quick run through on the bikes and disappear off for your first little ride. Now, the first ride, you're gonna go in one big group. That could be anywhere from 10 to 15 people with three to four instructors. Now, this is a quick little ride for them to kind of assess and work out how to group you because 15 riders isn't exactly how you want to do the rest of the day. You then get separated down by your sort of skill levels and confidence. And their goal is to have you in groups of anywhere from three to five with the instructor ratio. However, if you are a brand new rider, they tend to put you one-on-one -on -one because you need that kind of attention, learning all the clutch controls, etc. You're then going to be disappearing off into the wilderness of the experience centre that they have access to. They've got seven different locations and it's all about having a play and enjoying being off-road on a motorcycle, popping back for coffees, having another little wrap around, popping back for lunch and basically just enjoying a day off-road. You're going to be riding the CR250 RXs at the moment. They change their fleet every year, so you're on pretty top spec bikes. You're going to have experienced coaches, riders, guides with you to give you a little bit of tips and make sure that you make the most out of the day. There's going to be teas and coffees and refreshments, and you're going to be in superb locations. Remember, the number one mission of Dave Thorpe's whole experience put together with Honda is to get people wanting to do more off-road and that is exactly what I'm feeling after a day riding today. Do I want to do more off-road? Yep! I'm gonna go ride! But before I go ride, if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe, hit the bell, turn on notifications and make sure you check out my other social channels. I'm Vanessa, the girl on a bike and I've been with Honda Off-Road Experience, David Thorpe. who has watched
watch my recent Icelandic adventure part one video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I would say it's my must watch video, but there have been a couple of questions. I love your questions, so keep the comments coming. So I thought I'd take a moment to give you some of the answers. So the first one is what time of year is the best time to go to Iceland? Now, Iceland is a land of extremes. So at certain times of the year, middle of winter, you are looking at half an hour of daylight hours. Not the best time. We went in June and it was absolutely perfect. We had decent sunlight throughout the day, but it was cold and wet. But I would say that Iceland is cold and wet all year round. So just make sure you're wearing the right kit. Next question is what sort of price you're looking at of riding there with Ride With Locals. So Ride With Locals will do a fully all-inclusive, absolutely everything that you could possibly need, including beer package. And that for six days riding on Husqvarna 701's fuel support truck, everything is about four and a half thousand euros. You then need a hotel first night, hotel last night, flights in and food on either side. So I'd say, depending on your flights and hotel you pick, you're looking at about 5,000 euros for the week per person. Next question is what experience you need to ride off-road. Now, I do think someone with a lower level of off-road experience would be able to do Iceland, but make sure you have clear conversations with riders with locals before you go so that they have the right expectations. Because if it's a slightly slower group, the distances you manage in the day might have to be adapted slightly, but you do want to be quite comfortable in a range of conditions from some mud, deep sand, and a lot of river crossings. We did the first river crossing about 50 meters from when we turned off the tarmac, and that kind of set the tone for the following six days. Uh, so I'd just say maybe try and do something like the Honda Off Road. Um, there's other places in the UK where you can do some skills training or around the world. I would recommend maybe making sure you're comfortable and mix up conditions before you go. Anyway, let me know if you have any more questions. I'm going to try and keep this up and answer some of the questions from previous videos in next videos. And I love hearing from you, all of your comments. Thanks so much for all the support.